Hello, Mystic Mia Tarot here. Uh, I left off with um, reading the energy of your person towards you. And I had gotten the Eight of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Six of Cups reversed. So they're feeling like in a sense of uh, suspension or limbo. There's a waiting period they want to work on this because they do feel like you're their soulmate, but they may feel that you're kind of refusing them in some way since the Six of Cups is reversed. You're feeling the Five of Pentacles reversed, the Seven of Swords reversed, and the Ten of Cups reversed. So um, you're probably feeling like you want to come in from the cold, and you want any kind of deception or lying or even just game playing to end with the Seven of Swords reverse. And you want the fairy tale ending with them. You may have a feeling though that it's not possible because it is in reverse, the Ten of Cups. Um, but in the outcome, which will be the next full moon, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Magician. So. Perhaps um, in order for this person to go from being um, not quite the ideal partner with the Queen of Pentacles reverse to the magician, man, master manifester, there needs to be a tower had. Towers can feel like curses, but often end up being blessings. We'll get a little more clarity using bibliomancy. I'm going to use my book by Carlos Castaneda, The Active Side of Infinity. I will open randomly. So please quiet your mind and think of a question. I just want to mention that um, my clarifying deck has the chariot as the bottom card. And that's how we started off uh, the reading with the chariot. Um, so it is that out of control fast moving energy that kind of is crowning this entire thing. Falling in love can feel so out of control or even being willing to kind of take your relationship to the next level can feel very scary as well. And you may be of two minds about it. Anyway, think of a question about your person. But I have rabies, I said in a sincerely terrified tone. I may have rabies. I don't give a shit if you have the bubonic plague, the man snapped. Scram. I'll call the police, I said. Call whoever you like, he retorted. You call the police, we'll turn them against you. In this house, we have enough clout to do that. I believed him, so I lied to the nurse and said that the dog could not be found and that it had no owner. Okay, I'll stop there. Um, we're going to do a couple more things before ending this reading. I'm going to uh, pull a card, which I already did, to represent the person on your mind for further um, identification purposes. Uh, this is... Laverne Cox from my Celebrity Love Oracle deck. And so your person may be African American or uh, have brown skin uh, and blonde hair, perhaps. Uh, perhaps the color orange is significant. They may have um, sensual lips and big eyes. Uh, they may be androgynous as Laverne Cox, I believe, is a famous transgender woman. No one is going to have pleasure on your behalf. Go out and claim yours now. Let them love you for who you really are. Embrace those closest to you so your warmth and power make them strong like you. Hopefully that resonates in some way, Aries. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> this reading resonates, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If interested in the artwork, 
please um, see info in the description box. To finish off the reading, I will ask a yes or no question to the universe. So please quiet your mind and I will ask. Without a doubt. Okay, Aries, thanks again for being here. And until the next reading, may the source be with you.